Haemophilia. There are an estimated 400,000 people with haemophilia. These people are affected by a small range of symptoms depending on the severity of their case. Physical symptoms include spontaneous bleeding, generally after being cut, internal bleeding. Often when a haemophiliac gets a bruise, it is much larger and darker. Haemophiliacs also often get nosebleeds. Tightness in the joints. Haemophiliacs have tightness in the joints due to internal bleeding and sometimes the internal bleeding damages the joints. All of these are usually effects of the, a lack of blood clotting proteins. Haemophilia occurs on the X chromosome. Haemophilia is a mutation of the hemogene and reduces the production of blood clotting proteins. The pedigree shows that men are either haemophilic or not affected at all. They were never carriers. The pedigree also shows that females are often carriers. This is due to the non-haemophilic X chromosome being dominant over the haemophilic X chromosome. There are two ways that a female can be haemophilic. Both her parents gave a haemophilic chromosome or the non-haemophilic chromosome is inactive. This Punnett square shows us the theoretical chance of getting a haemophilic son or carrier daughter when the mother is a carrier. It displays that the chance of getting a haemophilic son is a ratio of 1 to 3, affected to not affected. Diagnosis of haemophilia is based on te off tests. These may be during pregnancy or after the birth of the offspring. Chorionic villus samples Sampling can be carried out around 11 to 14 weeks into pregnancy and involves a sample of the placenta being removed to be tested if for the gene. Amniocentesis after 15 to 20 weeks into pregnancy, amniotic fluid can be taken for testing. Diagnostic te diagnosis tests can also be carried out after birth. These are in the form of blood tests that are tested for the blood clotting protein levels. Haemophilia currently does not have a cure. It has treatment that reduces the effect of the order, disorder though. These treatments are either preventative, which prevents major incidents occurring, and on demand, when incidents happen. Preventative treatment for Haemophilia A involves injections of octocog alpha every two days. For haemophilia B, injections of nonocog alpha are given twice a week. Both these substances are genetically engineered to provide substitute proteins to assist in clotting. On-demand treatment for haemophilia A includes more octocog alpha or the medication desmopressin. For haemophilia B, it is more nonocog alpha. Although these treatments are quite effective, they only last for a short period of time and these do not cure haemophilia. Another limitation is a tendency for one third of the patients to build up antibodies against the treatment, preventing it from being effective in some. Haemophilia does, currently does not have any treatment that uses biotechnology, but research and testing is, do, is being done into how to cure haemophilia. The method that is being researched currently is gene therapy. Gene therapy involves editing the defective gene to completely reverse the phenotype for haemophilia. Although the treatment is yet to be made for humans, gene therapy on animals such as the dog in the image has been successful. Treatment for haemophilia currently costs between forty to 50000 and in some cases more due to extra treatment when serious situations occur. This is for each haemophilia patient. Research into haemophilia may reduce costs of treatment and if fully successful, reduce the cost to a one-time cost for a cure. If research is unsuccessful, scientists may have fully understood how to prevent antibody production against the current treatment, which has been a problem in roughly one third of the patients. Bibliography.